Have you ever been so sad because you felt like one of your friends turned their back on you? That's what happened to Jesus in our story today. We're on day six. We're going to be reading from Matthew 26, 47 to 56. And his friend, Judas, turned his back on him for 30 pieces of silver. It wasn't even like it was a big thing. It was 30 pieces of silver. He turned his back on his friend. This is what God's word says. While he was still speaking, that's Jesus, Judas, one of the 12, suddenly arrived. A large mob with swords and clubs were with him from the chief priests and elders of the people. And Judas said, the one that I kiss, he is the one that you should arrest. Now remember, Judas went up to kiss Jesus. He kissed him and Jesus said, friend, why have you come? Then the soldiers came, took hold of Jesus and arrested him. And at that moment, one of Jesus' followers reached out his hand and drew his sword. He struck the high priest's servant and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said, put your sword back in place because all who take up the sword will die by the sword. Or do you think that I cannot call on my father and have legions of angels to defend me? How then would the scriptures be fulfilled? It said that it must happen this way. And then Jesus said to the crowds, have you come with swords and clubs as if I were a criminal to capture me? Every day I used to sit teaching at the temple and you didn't arrest me, but all this has happened so that the writings of the prophets would be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and ran away. So let's think back to the story. What was the sign that happened that Judas did to show the soldiers that it was Jesus? It was a kiss, wasn't it? It was a kiss. What did Judas call him in the story? He called him something special. Do you remember? It was rabbi. What about what did Jesus call Judas? He called him friend. Could you still be friends with someone even if they turned their back on you like Judas did to Jesus? Or have you arrested? It seems pretty, pretty harsh, but Jesus loved everyone. Now for today's activity, I want you to think about the people in your neighborhood. And I want you to think about if you were to drive around in your car with your family, could you get in your car today and drive around and pray for your neighbors? Pray for your friends. You could drive right past their house and stop for just a second and pray for them. Pray for your city. You could drive past the police department and pray for your policemen. Drive past the fire department and pray for your firemen. Drive past your schools and pray for your schools and your church. Try to do a drive-by today where you go places and pray for the people that are there. Have a great day.